ignore the insatiable slobbing and chewing in the background. So, what's up y'all? I'm vlogging today. Uh, I know I haven't had a video up in a minute, but to be real honest with you guys, I have not felt good over literally like the past week, week and a half. Um, I don't know if it's because of, and I haven't felt good all around. <laughs> like, I haven't felt good in my body. Like, I've been so fucking tired and unmotivated. Um, mentally, I have not felt good. I don't know. I almost think it's because of keto. Because I started the keto diet, like, probably two or three weeks ago. Uh, I don't stick to it super well like I usually fall off on the weekends and then it's like at the beginning of the week I fucking feel like dick all over again but I started two or three weeks ago um I've lost a few pounds but like I said I'm not like I'm good during the week but then I'll fall off on the weekends and then I'll feel like shit again but this time it's been like probably for the past week or so I have just felt so mentally like not the greatest and I don't know why like for literally for the past two days I was like oh my god I'm gonna have to go back on antidepressants because I just felt so shitty well I got online or on YouTube and I was watching I don't know if you guys follow Keto Connect if you happen to do the keto diet Keto Connect is this guy and this girl and they basically like tell you things about keto they have a blog they have recipes yeah 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 Anyways, I was like, I need to like do this legitimately. We have a month before we leave to Florida and I would just like to be able to fit into some of my shorts uh, that I got last year. And you know, the tops, not so much because as I've mentioned in other videos that I've gained like a shit ton of weight over probably the past six months, six to eight months. Um, and like right now I weigh 212 and I'm used to weighing like between 170 and 180 is like my sweet spot. I'm cool with that, which I'm okay with being 212. I'm just not okay with none of my shit fitting me and I don't want to go out and buy all new clothes because I go to the gym regularly. So I feel like if I go out and buy all new clothes, eventually those aren't going to fit either. Those are going to be too big. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't want to have to buy like a whole new wardrobe because my wardrobe is tailored for me, for me to weigh between 170 and 200 basically. Like 180, 200 is about what my wardrobe is tailored to. I'm normally a size 12. Um, I can still fit into a size 12 in most things. Some things I have to bump up to a 14. My jean shorts I have to bump up to a 14 because I always bump up. Um, my sizing for jean shorts, usually last year I went out and bought like a bunch of size 12s, um, thinking that I was going to fit them and they were just too, sh they were all from American Eagle. So they were short as fuck. I only like high waisted stuff because I'm a lot smaller around this, this section of my body than I am below. I'm like totally pear shaped. Um, extremely exaggeratively pear shaped <laughs> like my bottom half is like a size 12 and in dresses I can wear like a size 8 10 because I'm so small on top so it's really hard for me to find clothes it's really hard for me to shop online because of that so anyways um so I haven't been feeling very good and I thought oh my god I'm gonna have to go on antidepressants and I have filmed a few videos like I filmed my boxy charm unboxing but when I was editing it I was like oh my god it just showed through so bad that I mean you could just tell by watching it that I was like basically forcing myself to film and that like I wasn't in a good mood I didn't like anything in my box to begin with and then to put like the mood that I've been in on top of that is like, it, it just wasn't good girl. So I didn't post it. Um, I'm probably still going to do it. I'm changing my schedule to, I think I'm going to change my schedule to Sunday, Wednesday, Friday and see how that goes. What does he have? What do you have? No. Oh my God. Wait. I'm literally murdering my dog. It's like having a fucking toddler in my house. Tell me why he just had like my $50 fucking $2,000 camera battery 
in his mouth chewing on it. Oh my god, I hope it works. Good thing I have a battery from my regular 60. Ugh. Literally murdering my dog. Literally. I literally had it sitting like on a little TV tray in our living room. He got up there and got it off and started chewing on it. Are you kidding? I don't even know what I'm saying because now I'm awful clumped. I need to go though because I'm meeting my mom. And what I was going to tell you guys, I am going shopping today. I'm bringing you guys with me. Uh, you may or may not meet my mom depending on whether or not she wants to be on film. I am going to try to put this battery in my camera and see if it works. If it doesn't, I'm probably going to murder a little white dog, slit his throat, and hang him from the telephone pole. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Kind of. Anyways, um, I will see you guys in the car. I, I don't, I just, oh my god, I lose everything. My life is a mess all the time. Um, I lost the little, whatever it's called, mount or whatever to my 5100. It won't sit on my dash. I tried to vlog yesterday and it just kept sliding off my dash. I'm hoping this one will sit on my dash so I can at least vlog in the car. It's probably going to be really bumpy and noisy. So sorry. Also, you're probably going to hear my lens a lot in this video because I don't want to put my um, hot shoe. I don't want to put my mic on the hot shoe because I have a Rode mic that I like attached to the camera because it's huge and I feel like an asshole driving around with this big ass mic on top of my camera, let alone driving around with this big ass camera pointed at me. But then the mic just makes it like a hundred times worse. So, so sorry about the lens noise, but let me stick this in. This is totally not going to work. He fucked my battery up. I'm going to have to go on Amazon and order another one. Cool. So, um, I'm going to take off because I was supposed to meet my mom and I will see you guys in the car. We are off. I don't know how well this is gonna go. It's gonna be real shaky. Hold on, I'll BRB because I'm like going down my driveway. I know it's gonna be super hella shaky. Yeah, BRB. Okay, maybe that's a little better. Probably not. So, super awesome. Hoy ruined my battery. So now I have to buy another battery, which is super cool. My strap's in the way. I can't see myself. So, um, I look back at the footage. What I was talking about was being on keto and like not feeling the greatest. I filmed that boxy charm video and it just like you could just tell by my moon that I just like was not fucking in it. So I'm like, oh my god, why am I basically like torturing myself with keto? So as I was saying earlier, I went on Keto Connect and I was watching like this ultimate guide to keto. Um they were, you know, talking about like when you start keto or whatever, because I totally fell off again this weekend because I have no fucking willpower. So I was watching all these videos, like the ultimate guide to keto or whatever, and they were talking about because I feel like, you know, I have a fucking ice cream cone or something stupid like that, like every weekend, and then it like shoots me back into God, do I have a nose here? Let me put the exposure down. Um shoots me back into, uh, you know, like going through the keto flu and all that shit again. I'm <clears throat> just need to stick to it. But the girl in there had mentioned, um, magnesium. Cause they were like, Oh, the best thing for keto flu is like electrolytes, potassium, magnesium, and salt, sodium. So <clears throat> yesterday, I mean, I was feeling like fucking dick yesterday and I think I told you guys, <clears throat> God, my allergies. I think I told you guys in a previous video how I was gonna start. I hope the like shakiness is not too annoying. It's really bad, isn't it? I'm so sorry. I'm trying, you guys, I'm trying. I was gonna film, like legitimately film today, but I did a chemical peel on my face uh, two nights ago and my face looks like fuck, dude. It's like all dry and like scaly and patched up down around this area. But anyways, because I'm an idiot, um, I am going to do like a chemical peel haul and then talk about those. Anyways, so as I was saying, um, what was I saying? Let me think. Oh yeah, so she was like, oh, you know, potassium, magnesium, blah, 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 blah. She said we, the guy was like, I take this magnesium supplement at nighttime, makes you tired, I sleep good, yada, yada. So I was up in the Myers yesterday and I'm like, let me see if they got any of these like can you take a supplement or something like that for, cause I'm instant gratification and I didn't order the one that they, 
you know, use or whatever because I'm like, I want it right now because I feel like dick. I was so tired. My whole body was sore. Um, not just from lifting, but like just from going through keto flu for the past, you know, two days, my whole body had been sore and I'd just been really tired and sluggish and railroad tracks. <laughs> tired and sluggish and not motivated and whatever else. So I said to myself, let me try these supplements out. Let me see if they got some of these potassium or whatever up in the Myers. I just happened to stumble across the magnesium. So I took this magnesium yesterday before I went to bed and woke up this morning and I feel great. <laughs> and the girl was even talking like, oh, a lot of um, women are deficient of potassium, magnesium, whatever, which can also make you feel like shit. But I, you know, I take all these vitamins and stuff like that, which help, but over the past couple of weeks, they have it. But that magnesium, like, made me feel so good. Like, I feel like I have an allergy to magnesium sulfate, which I don't know if that's the same. That's probably my mom. Like, where the fuck are you? Oh no, she's going into Sally's. Um, but I think I have some kind of allergy to magnesium sulfate, I think is what it's called. Because whenever I take too many times, um, if I go to the doctor and they give me, you know how you get that like glass bottle of, I think it's called magnesium sulfate and you're supposed to drink it to like help you poop or like help with your stomach or whatever. Every time I've ever taken that or if I've taken too many Tums or something like that or milk of magnesium, I, I throw up. So I think I have some kind of allergy to it. This must not be the same. At first when I took it, I was like, oh God, am I going to get sick? Like I started to feel like real odd, but I started feeling odd because of it makes you tired. It like really relaxes you. It was nice. <laughs> I didn't sleep the best, oddly enough, because I was tired because I kept waking up like wide awake for some reason. When I woke up this morning, I was like awake and I'm like, oh, thank God. I'm like over this stupid fucking flu because I started... I think Sunday I fell off. Monday I started back on keto. And when I say I fall off, I mean like I'll have like an ice cream cone. Like Sunday for Mother's Day, we went to this place that has these ribs and I had ribs and onion straws and like, which isn't too ridiculously bad um, in the way of keto. But you know, I went way over the carbs that I'm used to because I'm used to like between 20 and 30 carbs a day. Um, so, because I went way over the carbs I'm used to, it like kind of, I think, reset my system. So when I started back up Monday and Tuesday, I felt like dick Monday and Tuesday. Uh, today, I feel a shit ton better. Um, and I think just from, you know, bouncing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, I have no willpower when it comes to like going out to eat and stuff like that. If it's like lunchtime or something, I can get down with it. Like it doesn't bother me, but when I go out to eat my family, especially when we go to my mom's, because it's kind of like a tradition, when we go to my mom's house to go to this ice cream place called Pete's that has the best fucking ice cream alive. It's so good. So we'll like do supper or something like that, which I'll stick to, and then everybody will want to go to Pete's, and I'm like, I want to go to Pete's too. Especially because it's summertime, and like ice cream in the summer just tastes so much better. I don't know why. So... Anyways, that's what I was talking about. Super awesome that Hoyt chewed my fucking battery up beyond repair because I stuck it in my camera and it doesn't work. <sighs> I feel like I want to slice his throat, but I also feel like I can't be mad at him because, you know, it's been almost two weeks since he's had his toys. Be oh, you know what? I don't think I told you guys. Um, we had this like crazy thing happened with toy with toy with hoy he hasn't has toys for almost two weeks it'll be two weeks on saturday um tim and i were in the yard and we were doing stuff around the yard fucking freak crazy crazy freak out not this past saturday but the saturday before that um we were in the yard doing stuff tim was riding the buggy around we have like a four-wheeler we have a go-kart and then we have, I call it a buggy, it's an ATV. It's basically like a gator or like a souped up um, 
souped up, what are they called, golf cart. So we were, Tim was spraying weeds in the yard and we were driving the buggy around and he wasn't even driving it around. He was just kind of like putting it around. Usually when we have the four-wheeler go-kart out, we um, put Hoyt up because he barks at it. He runs around it. You can't drive it because he literally like runs in front of it and tries to bite the tires and everything else. So Tim was just putting it around, spraying weeds. Hoyt was doing fine. The dogs were outside. Hoyt was doing fine. He wasn't barking at it, you know, because he wasn't really like driving it. He was just kind of like you know, putting it in coast from like this tree to this tree. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So because of that, or wait, what? Because of that? No. So yeah, because of that, we didn't put Hoyt up because he wasn't barking or anything at it. So what happened was Tim was spraying the weeds. He looks over Hoyt's, you know, standing in front of the vehicle, like whatever. Tim goes to back up to move to another place and Hoyt, uh, Apparently, he didn't even see it, ran behind the buggy, and Tim heard this quick, like, yelp. So, he thought that maybe, you know, his foot got pinched or, you know, something. He wasn't sure. Hoyt comes running around the front of the vehicle. Bark, 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 bark. He's barking at the vehicle. Tim's, you know, obviously at this point is, like, sitting still. So, he comes running around the vehicle, and he seems fine. All of a sudden, Tim looks over and the entire side of his face is covered in blood. So obviously, Tim's like, oh my God, what the fuck? So he's like screaming at me. I'm over by the front porch, like digging at our front yard because we're like landscaping our front yard. So I'm like, you know, tilling dirt up and I got Pandora on blast, like listening to Pandora super loud. I can't even hear him. Here comes Hoyt running up to me. Fucking looks like the whole en entire side of his face is mangled. Look like he it just got caught in like a fucking, I don't know, like a fan or some kind of fucking machinery or something. I was like, what the fuck? So he comes running up to me. And by the way, this whole time, Hoyt's just like, ba 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 ba, running around like nothing's wrong. And I'm like, there's blood gushing out of his face. His fucking tooth is like stuck out to here. It was the craziest shit I'd ever seen. I was like, Aiden, go get me a towel. So Aiden goes and gets a towel. I'm like, I'm, you know, I'm just thinking. Tim's on the phone with the emergency vet, like, oh my God, flipping the fuck out. I'm just like, I gotta make the bleeding stop. I gotta make the bleeding stop. He had blood all over his legs, all over his face, just everywhere. There's blood on my car, there's blood on the ground, there's blood everywhere was bleeding so bad so I was like what the fuck oh my god you know in tears Tim's on the phone with the emergency vet basically in tears and so Aiden gives me a towel I take the towel and I like push it onto his face and you know his tooth's like hanging out to here so I tried to like push put pressure on his face to stop the bleeding and I pushed the tooth back in and once I like did that the bleeding kind of slowed down and I noticed that that was the only thing wrong was that he had that tooth sticking out so I was like oh thank god I mean he's still kind of bleeding obviously we're on our way to the emergency vet Tim's flipping the fuck out the whole entire time he's like oh my god I feel like the biggest dick ever what the fuck what's wrong you know like I hope he's okay blah 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 so then we um, are on our way there and, you know, Hoyt's in the car. He's completely fine. His tooth is fine. He stops bleeding. He's completely fine. So we were like, oh my God, we go to the emergency vet. They were amazing, wonderful, amazing people. Like so nice. I personally was super nervous to go there because the last experience I had there, I was like, treated like complete shit. I don't know if you would call that like a medical professional, but I've never met a medical professional that was the biggest fucking bitch I've ever met in my life. I seriously, she like warded me off for ever wanting to take any fucking animal to that animal hospital because she was a raging fucking cunt and I'll say it, raging cunt. So basically, long story short, what had happened was Stubby was digging in the yard. He had come across, he was digging a hole, come across a piece of glass and cut the webbing. I took him in there. Why did this bitch drill me? Obviously, I'm like in a panic. My dog's bleeding. He cut his foot. I'm like, you know, freaking the fuck out about it as it is. 
Why did this fucking bitch sit and drill me? Like, where did the glass come from? What's in your backyard? Why did he cut his foot? Where is this? Why is that? Why was he digging a hole? Like, I'm on the motherfucking, like, the first 48 hours in the goddamn interrogation room with a camera at one end and a fucking light bulb pointed at me. Like, what the fuck, bitch? Just fix my dog. Sew him up or do what you gotta do. Why are you drilling me and interrogating me like I'm some monster fucking person that throws my dog in a fucking junkyard in the backyard you know what I'm saying so needless to say I was not thrilled about having to go to this hospital I was so nervous the whole way there I was like oh my god I hope these people are not fucking dicks please tell me it is not the lady that I had to deal with last time so Tim which Tim wasn't with me the first time Tim is the type of person that if somebody says something shitty to him he's immediately gets shitty right back. I'm not like that. If somebody gets shitty with me, I just let it go because to me, it's not worth like, you know, putting you in a good mood and, or I mean, in a bad mood, just, you know, making your day bad because somebody got shitty with you and then you got shitty back and they got shitty back. I just don't think it's worth it. I don't like putting like that type of negativity out into the universe because that's just how I am. So, um, Tim wasn't with me the first time. Had Tim been with me the first time, he probably would have told the bitch off. So Tim was like, don't worry, I'm with you this time. Like, if they get shitty, I'll get fucking shitty right back. They're working for you. So I was like, okay, whatever. He goes, but the lady on the phone was really nice. So, you know, I don't think that's going to be the case. The lady on the phone, as soon as he got on the phone with her and told her what happened, the first thing out of her mouth was, it's not your fault. Don't worry. We have this happen all the time. It's okay. We'll fix them right up you know, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay, okay. Hopefully at least the, you know, vet tech or vet assistant or whoever will be nice. We go in, they're super fucking nice. Just amazing. The assistant was amazing. The vet tech was amazing. The vet comes in. She's got like a tattoo on her arm, which I know sounds stupid, but coming from somebody that has like tattoos and piercings it's just like you feel so much more comfortable with somebody that has a tattoo because you feel like you know they're a little bit more laid back you know what i'm saying so she comes in she was fucking amazing they're like it's not your eyes' fault because we're like oh my god and of course tim's like i feel like the biggest asshole ever i should have put him up and blah, blah 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 and they're like no it's okay dogs do stupid shit you know sometimes they do shit just out of the blue and you don't even know what's coming and sometimes they do things that are like completely out of their nature and whatever else so you know don't blame yourself for it they were so fucking nice but the thing that really pissed me off was and this has nothing to do with people but the vet takes her hands down the side you know she was like petting hoy and like examining him takes her hands down the side of his body like this and goes does he have allergies and i was like uh yes how did you know that <laughs> so obviously i went into the story which i've mentioned in previous videos about how you know for the past year and a half we had been going through this whole allergy thing with him and you know basically long story short if you haven't seen the video where i bitched about this and thank you for all your suggestions by the way with the food and the medicines and everything else but just you wait so um long story short my vet i took my dog to the vet because you know he was itching and scratching himself and I said, oh my God, I think he's allergic to the grass. She said, yep, he's allergic to grass. Gave him some steroids. Um, because at this point he had hot spots and everything else. Gave him some steroids. Let him be on his way. Said, you need to wipe him, his paws, wipe his body down, everything else. When he comes in, we did that. Didn't work. I took him back in. I said, um, I just saw a flea on him. I think he's allergic to fleas. Yep, he's allergic to fleas. And I told her how I had put the liquid flea medicine on him. And she said, you need to switch him to a Soresto collar. So I did that. Then that didn't work. So then I said, I think it's his food. I took him back and she said, yeah, it's his food. Basically everything I suggested, she was like, yep, that's it. So um, this vet said, there's actually an allergy test that you can get for them. It's about $250 and it tests them for everything from cat hair to fucking cheese or whatever. And I was like, 
my vet never told me about that. And of course we're like, yeah, we'll pay it. We don't care how much it costs. And she goes, actually, I don't think you need to. So to save you guys a little money, she said, usually when we do those allergy testings, it's usually for dogs who are very extreme cases, who are missing hair, who she said, I've seen some dogs that are completely bald from their allergies. You know, he doesn't have any bald spots. He doesn't have any hot spots. He doesn't itch to the point where there's hot spots. You can give him, um, Benadryl, she says. You can give him some Benadryl up to four times a day. She goes, I know it seems like a lot, but it's a pound a milligram, and dogs metabolize things differently. There's my mom. Anyways, sorry, my mom called. I thought she was up in the Sally's, and she's like, where the fuck are you? I'm at TJ Maxx. She goes, I was at Sally's a long time ago. Where you been? So anyways, um, where was I? Oh yeah, she says, you can give him fucking Benadryl up to four times a day. Dogs metabolize it differently. And she goes, I think that'll help. She said, you start off with one, it'll probably make him groggy until his body gets used to it. You know, one dose, she said, you can give it to him twice a day, it's 56 pounds. Or one dose, you can give him, one dose is two pills. 25 milligrams per pill. He's 56 pounds, so he gets two pills. She said, give him one dose. Um, wait for a couple days, see if it helps. If it doesn't help, up his dose. Wait, if it doesn't help, up his dose. I gave him one dose of Benadryl a day since then, and he has not had any fucking issues scratching. Every once in a while, he'll like get a scratch, but you know, he was to the point where he was like scratching constantly. Not to the point where he would put hot spots on himself or anything like that, but he was scratching a lot, and I'm like, this fucking bitch! I can't fucking believe that this whole entire time for a whole fucking year I could have given my dog Benadryl? Are you fucking kidding me? And my vet never fucking suggested that? Seriously? What the fuck? Okay, so I just got to TJ Maxx. My mom's been waiting on me forever. So I'm gonna go and I will see you guys in a little bit. I'll continue the story. Hello friends, we are back. So, um, I was gonna take you shopping with me, but me and my mom are just like bouncing from place to place to place to place. And I was already like super late and we were like constricted for time because I had to pick bro up from school. Sorry about the bumpiness. But I didn't end up having to pick bro up from school, so yeah. Um, I didn't exactly walk, but I will walk next time. But surprisingly, I got a lot of cool shit. But let me just, let me go back to the vet thing. Because although it's been like three hours since I've talked to you, it's literally been .01 seconds for y'all. So back to the vet thing. They were so fucking nice. She like checked him over said he was good she said I guess bulldogs like their bottom canine the root runs like all the way to the back of their jaw or something like that so she actually said it's a good thing that you push the tooth back in because had you not done that he very, may very well have pulled his tooth out so thank god but he wasn't allowed to have you know we had to watch him with his food like eating and stuff like that because he eats hard food which he was fine with oddly enough um, so we had to watch him with his food and he, he's not allowed to have, she didn't give a specific time frame that he's allowed to have like his chew toys and that he's allowed to chew on stuff, but it's been almost two weeks and I've been checking his tooth like every day and kind of trying to wiggle it to see if, you know, it's still loose or not. And it's not loose at all. It's like completely healed after only like, what has it been a week and a half or something? It's like completely healed from what I can see. So I think this Saturday will be like the two week mark, either Saturday or Sunday. So I think I'm gonna give his toys back on whatever day, Saturday or Sunday, because he's chewing my shit. Obviously, he chewed my motherfucking camera battery earlier. He hasn't been too, too bad, but today I think he was just, just gonna take it anymore. Cause to be honest, for the first couple days, he just wasn't hoy. And he was like real sluggish and you know, obviously he was probably in pain, which they gave us pain pills, so I was giving those to him, but you could tell there was something off, because he's usually like very quirky and hyper, and he just wasn't, he just wasn't himself. And even though I get pissed at him for being like so crazy sometimes, I don't like him to not be crazy either, if that sounds even remotely 
like appropriate, I guess, because I'm like, oh my God, he's so hyper and crazy because he chews shit up. So, but anyways, what was I talking about before I started talking about the vet thing? She was super nice. They were amazing, like such a good experience as compared to the last time I was there. I told her, like, I just can't believe my vet did not fucking you know, suggest any of this stuff. I can't believe my vet didn't do that. Obviously, in, you know, a case of professionalism, she wasn't going to sit there and, like, talk shit about my vet. She just wasn't that type. Some doctors, I think it's, like, bro code, where, like, doctors don't talk shit about other doctors. Sometimes. <laughs> there are some doctors that are, like, there's one doctor in town, like, the doctor that did my mom's back. Like, you talk to anybody about that motherfucker, and you're like, ooh, shit. Mm-mm don't go to him girl and not only don't go to him but like stay as far away from him as possible don't let him touch your body don't let him touch your face don't let him touch nothing so some doctors do some doctors don't but she was just that kind of doctor that wasn't going to like sit and talk shit about another vet which is fine just shows you know admiration and professionalism but in the same regard she was like very sympathetic and I just can't believe this whole fucking time, all I had to do was give him fucking Benadryl. Benadryl! The whole fucking time. All I had to do was give my dog Benadryl and he would have been fine. Like, want the actual fuck? Oh shit, I gotta stop in here and get me some wipes. We use wipes, not toilet paper in my house. It's gonna be hella fucking bumpy because this motherfucking dollar, dollar, this fucking dollar store parking lot now, Jesus, it looks like a volcano. There's so many holes in it. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? And I'm about to pull up in this big asshole because there ain't nowhere else to park. Let me run up in here and get some wops right quick and then I will be RV. God damn that fucking dollar store parking lot. My camera fucking fell. It's like, Jesus. It was ganking, 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 ganking. Anyways, they need to fix it. I mean, there are like potholes the size of my entire car in that parking lot. I'm not even exaggerating. So I think I was talking about Hoyt. So he seems okay. Like, he seems, I mean, he's just like run around being himself. As I said earlier, he wasn't himself for like a couple of days. But he's back to the old Hoyt again, chewing on shit, being a little pricklick. That's what he is. He's a little dickwad. He likes to chew everything in the house. When nobody's home, he gets pissed that you're not there. So he chews shit up. He finds all the shoes he can. I've got to close the door on our closet. I keep forgetting to close the door in our closet. He had one of Tim's boots earlier. Luckily, he didn't chew the damn thing up. He chewed up. Tim's mom bought him a $180 pair of Doc Martin boots. And Hoyt chewed the tongue on one of them completely thrash. He only owned those boots for, I bet, three or four months, and Hoyt fucking chewed the tongue up on him. Tim was so pissed. He's like, how do I replace this? I gotta buy all new shoes. So anyways, um, yeah, so back to shopping. Me and my mom been shopping all day. I surprisingly actually found a lot of good things. I'm gonna do like a spring, summer shopping haul slash try-on type dilly. Um, because obviously I need new clothes because none of my clothes fit. I didn't want to go buy new clothes as I was talking about earlier, but I just said, fuck it, I'm doing it. I'm always a size 12, no matter how much weight I lose, I'm constantly a size 12 because I'm so fucking pear-shaped. And I, I don't know if I've ever told you, I have told you guys because I did a video about it, but years ago, um, about all the weight that I lost <clears throat> years ago when I was younger, I, lost, I was almost 300 pounds and I lost like 100 pounds. So, um, a lot of the, like my bottom half, a lot of it is loose skin from, you know, losing so much weight, being so big for so long and then losing all that weight. So I will always be big on the bottom because of that. I thought about doing this thing that they have at our spa called, <clears throat> I'm sorry, my fucking allergies are like driving me nuts. It's just in my throat though. I don't know why. But anyways, a lot of, um... My, what was I saying? Oh, I was thinking about going to our spa. The spa in our town does this thing called 3D Sculpt where they do something to you and it like tones you up or something. I don't know. I thought about seeing how much it was and doing it like just on my legs because the majority of the loose skin that I have is on my legs. 
you know, some of it's on my arms. I got the chicken wings going on. And that does tighten a little bit, but only to a certain extent, you know what I mean? And honestly, like, I don't like the way I look smaller because I'm so pear-shaped. I look like a fucking bobblehead. My bones be sticking out and shit because of the loose skin. It's like my inner body is, like, skinnier than what what it looks like. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if that's making any fucking sense, but it is what it is. So I found a lot of like cool stuff today. Oh, my thing came. So, um, I wanted to ask you guys, oh, it wasn't, sorry. <laughs> my camera went out of focus. I wanted to ask you guys, have you guys ever seen the, I was just getting my mail. Have you guys ever seen on Facebook that ad for, it's like an acrylic nail, right? And they like, it's like a tube of this like gel shit and they like scoop it out and then they put it in like a clear acrylic nail. It's, I, we're gonna be in my driveway so it's gonna be bumpy, pre-warning. Um, I'll try to go real slow so it's not as bad. But they put it on this like, it looks like a fake nail. They put the gel on a fake nail and then they press it on your finger and then they cure it in a light pop the nail off and then you have like an acrylic nail it's like an ad on facebook i think there's an ad on instagram about it i bought it so do you guys want to see a video of me like either trying it or doing it let me know in the comments below and i will do that so um anyways i just got that in the mail i was like oh finally it's taken like two weeks to fucking get here it took forever it's coming from fucking hong kong or something so as i was saying i found a lot of cool shit today i'm surprised and there's even stuff that I like want to go back to get. I didn't get everything I wanted to get today because um, my mom and I want to go to Columbus to go shopping in Columbus. They have so many more stores in Columbus. So I think either maybe this week, maybe not, but probably sometime next week we'll probably go to Columbus um, and get some more stuff. I'll show you guys a couple of things that I got, but I don't want to show all of it because I want to do like a haul and a try on. Maybe I'll do a haul and a try on with stuff I have now and then the stuff I get in Columbus I'll do a haul and a try on with. Is that what I should do? Let me know in the comments. Um, I just got home. I'm going to run in and talk to the boys real quick and then I will see you guys. They got to go get their hair cut at 4.30 so I'll jump back on and my boobs itch so bad. They itch, itch, itch. I'll tell you about that later. But I'm going to jump back on and like end this vlog out. I'm so sorry I didn't take you like shopping and stuff. It's just awkward for me. I'll definitely vlog in Columbus though, like when me and my mom go. Um, just because that'll be fun. So, and I'm sure my mom don't mind being on camera. I don't know. I didn't even ask her today. It's just so awkward, like, you know, to ask people, do you want me to videotape you? Can I videotape you for my vlog? And then it's like, what do you talk about? together on the blog. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get me. Y'all get me. So, I'm gonna run in, talk to the boys a little bit, and then I will see you guys here shortly. I'll, sh I'll show you some of the stuff I bought. My Ulta bag. I didn't buy anything big. I just bought some body butter and like, I don't remember, something else. <laughs> Nothing big. No Ulta haul or anything. I'm about to do an Ulta haul though. I'll probably stop in at Ulta sometime this week since I'm feeling so much better. I haven't even shopped or anything. So I will see you guys shortly. Okay, so back in the house, I look like dick. Don't really get in funk right now though. Can you guys see on my face? Come on and focus on me, bitch, where it's like all patchy and crusty. That is from a chemical peel. I did a lactic acid peel and I haven't peeled in, oh, oh, there's a little neighbor girl walking home. Haven't peeled in months, and I went and did a 65% like a dickhead. I don't know why. But anyways, um, at Ulta, oh, I got this brush because I want to try and, like, blow dry my hair and, like, curl it while I blow dry it. And then I just got a mango body butter, NBD. Oh, my God, it smells so good. But I'm about to go slather myself in body butter because my body itches so bad. Because you want to know why? Guess what I did. For the first time. First, can you see my little faucet? I hope not. For the first time ever, first time ever in my whole entire life, I got in a tanning bed. I know, screams cancer, right? But here's the thing. So, and, and I've never been in a tanning bed, I never tan. I was like a teenager in the 90s when tanning was like all the fucking rage and I still never got in a tanning bed. 
just because I really like my pale skin and I think I've told you guys before I was like super fucking gothy like back in the 90s so having a tan was like not it but aside from like just not getting in a tanning bed my body has never ever even had a tan because I'm not out in the sun long enough if I'm out in the sun for more than like an extended period of time I wear like SPF 100 from head to fucking toe because I'm so pasty and I burn so easily I barely ever burn out in the sun just because I'm constantly slathering myself in SPF all the time and I have ever since I was younger and I try to stay out of the sun if I go to the beach I'm sitting under a motherfucking umbrella like I'm usually not in the sun when I burn I don't burn bad because of all the sunblock I have on so um aside from you know never being in a tanning bed I've never even been tanned other than you know fake shit like putting on self tanner and stuff I've never had a tan before so this is what happened. What ha happened was. What ha happened was. So Tim kept talking over and over about how he wanted to go into a tanning bed just to get a base because in June we're going on vacation to Florida. We're going to go stay in Clearwater Beach. Um, and Tim was like, I just want to get a base so that way I don't get sunburnt while we're down in Florida and be miserable the whole time because I'm so fucking sunburnt because Tim's the type of person that does not put sunblock on because he's an idiot because he's like oh, I want to be tan I want to get a tan because he likes getting a tan for the summer um and he usually tans like super super easy so I kept talking about talking about talking about it and he was like will you come with me I don't want to feel like a dick going to a tanning bed because I'm a man or whatever else and I'm like nobody cares about that there's plenty of guys out there that go in tanning beds. Like his partner that he owns a business with, he has like went in a tanning bed before. So it's not that big of a deal. But he was like, I just don't want to feel weird. Like I've never done it before. And I'm like, I've never done it before. He's like, actually, it would probably be a good idea for you to get in a tanning bed because you're so fair. If we go down to Florida and we're like, you know, we're from Ohio. So we go to Florida, we're like that much closer to the sun. He said, if we go down to Florida and you burn, you're going to be miserable the entire time. And you know how you burn. He goes, I don't know that any SPF will like help you down there. So I was like, yeah, I don't think so though. I don't want to go in a tanning bed because tanning beds just scream cancer to me. So I'm like, and like leathery skin. It's like all the people that I know tan, their skin looks like leather and they're like super addicted to it. So I'm like, I don't think so. So then I was telling my mom, like, oh, Tim wants to go tanning. And she goes, um, you need to go tanning before you go to, to Florida or you're going to burn, you're going to blister, you're going to be miserable. So after not that much coercing, <laughs> they talked me into it. So I was like, okay, fine. I'll go in the fucking tanning bed. So the other day I go in to like a local tan place and I was like I've never been in a tanning bed before and never tanned before and it's like the girl at the register was like probably this like 20 some year old girl and she's like well I've only tanned twice and I said you're gonna literally have to walk me through this because I have no clue what I'm doing like do I go naked do I squat because my legs touch when I stand up do I do this because I want the bottom side of my arms like do I put my arms out on my side do I hold them up do I like spread my legs out what do I do do I go naked do I wear underwear do I wear bathing suit what do I do what do I put on my body like what do I do so I talked to a couple of girls at work and um they like kind of walked me through it and then it made me feel a lot better and I think what kind of pushed me over the edge was my friend Jen that I work with she's like just as pale as I am if not paler and she was like I'm doing the same thing like I've been tanning because um I'm going to North Carolina I think they are and she's like I don't want to get burnt and like be miserable so I'm tanning too so Finally, I was like, okay, if you're tanning and you're like paler than I am, I think I can handle it. We're only doing it for a month too, by the way. It's not like I'm going to be tanning all summer. Um, so we get up in there and I'm like, you're going to have to walk me through this, blah, 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 blah. So she takes me in the room to the stand-up bed and literally goes, they have these little like Tupperware containers. The tanning place is kind of ghetto because he just bought it. So... He has, it's a guy that I know, he has a detailing business and when he bought the building for his detailing business, the tanning business just kind of came with it. So he's like slowly trying to fix it up because he just bought it and 
you know, it's the beginning of the summer. This is when it's like prime time. So we wanted to open it up because it came with the beds and everything. So it's a little bit ghetto, but he's trying to fix it up. So they have this Tupperware that has, you know, the little goggles and then there's a towel in there and there's a fan and a radio. And then the big, I do the stand up ones, the big giant tanning thing. Cause I was like too scared to do the lay down one. Cause I'm like, if I'm laying on top of it, I feel like I, I'm just going to fry. So I go in there and she's like, this is the goggles. This is the towel. And I was like, how do I do it? I have no clue what I'm doing. How do I do it? And she's like, you basically, there's a start button and a stop button. You just push it when you're ready to go in. If you feel like it gets too hot, you can push it again and it'll stop. And that was all she told me. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, uh, I guess. So she leaves to go help Tim, closes the door. And I'm like, literally like, what do I do? What do I do? Like, I have my tan lotion. I've talked to my peeps. I know what's going on. I got to put the lotion on my body and stuff. Like, I know what's up with that. But I'm like, I just like stood there and I'm like, I guess I'll play my Pandora. Um, I'll get this little towel out to put over my face because I don't want my face tanning because I just did a mad fucking chemical peel. So that's, you know, instant cancer right there. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm fucking around. I take my clothes off. I'm like, put my lotion on. All of a sudden, the bed starts lighting up. And I'm like, no, no, wait. I wasn't even ready yet. So apparently, there's like a five-minute delay from the time that you get in there till the bed starts. And I'm like, oh, my God. I had no time. I was like, I didn't even get like this part of me lotioned up. And probably because I was fucking around. So I was like, what the fuck? So I get in there and I'm like, what's going on? And I see like these little straps. I was like, okay, I'm going to hold on to these. So, you know, my whole entire arm gets some type of light to it. So the first time was like, uh, kind of confusing, kind of weird, kind of awkward. And I went for four minutes and nothing happened. And as fair as I am to go in there for four minutes and have like, I didn't get burnt. I didn't get tan. I didn't do anything. So, and by the way, I use the Maui babe, um, indoor tanning lotion. So for the first time I went in for four minutes, I'm like, nothing fucking happened. And as pale as I am and nothing happened in four minutes, it's kind of like, what the fuck? Because all these people are like, you're so fair. You should only do two minutes and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, I'm going to do four just because I really want to get like a good base going. Right. So nothing happened. So the next day I'm like, I'm going to go again. I'm going to do five minutes this time. Dude, I did five minutes, y'all. I don't know if you can tell on camera or not, but a bitch is fucking crispy. Can you see it? Oh my God. It's like that type of burn where every time you show somebody, they go, ooh, sit. Like, you got fucking fried, bitch. What the fuck? So, and I got burnt in the weirdest places. Like, the back of my thighs, my ass, my back, my boobs. Oh my God, you guys. Why did nobody tell me how itchy it was? My boobs itch so fucking bad. I just want to rip them off. I've been squeezing my nipples all day because my nipples itch so bad. Like me and my mom are out shopping and I'm like, oh my God, my nipples itch so bad. I just want to dig them off. They hurt. And it doesn't, I can't say that. They don't really hurt. It just feels really hot and it itches so bad. It just feels like my skin is really dry and hot. So, and that's why I want to lather myself in the body butter. Literally just ran out of my Rose Argan um, conditioner, body conditioner by Lush, which is like my all time favorite. Literally just ran out of that. So I'm gonna slather this freaking uh, mango body butter on me. Oh, it's just so itchy and like, Oh my God, dude, especially like where my pants line is. My God. Oh God. It just, it's just so bad. Um, so that's what I got from Sally's, but my, or not from Sally's. What am I talking about? Um, my, uh, Oh God, I'm dropping things everywhere. My, um, the back of my thighs, my ass, my back, weird parts of my arm, like, this chunk of my arm, but not the top of my arm. I don't know, just weird. My chest, but like not my neck. I did have a towel over my face though to like stop it, which my friend was like, it'll even burn you through the towel. So you better just like put some mad sunblock on your face next time you go, even to put the towel over it, you should. So, but my legs didn't do anything. My legs didn't burn, they didn't tan. So I went to Sally's and got this, um, 
leg bronzer stuff. It had super good reviews on the site. Somebody was like, oh, your legs are so hard to tan, but this stuff really does work. So I'm like, and Tim was bitching too that his legs weren't tanning. So I'm gonna try this and see if it works. Um, I think I'm gonna put my Maui Babe everywhere else and put that on my legs and, and see if that works. So for the first time in my life, I'm tanning. I might just come out like, a bronze goddess and you guys will be like who this who is that that's not my pasty pirate bitch that I know that's some beautiful bronze goddess probably not but you know it's nice to dream so I got that at Sally's another thing I got at Sally's I saw this thing I was like oh my god this is so cute it's only 17 dollars this little waiver thing come on focus bitch isn't that cute and it's like a travel thing I <laughs> lately have been doing like a wave in my hair with my flat iron, but I thought for this, this would be like so much better to do it with because it wouldn't be as damaging because you're not putting your hair like smashing it in between the flat iron for that long. Because when you flat iron wave, you have to like hold the flat iron there, hold it under like this, then hold it over, then hold it under, then and it just seems like way more damaging than to just take this clamp and be like clamp 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 you know what I'm saying I don't know maybe not but it's tourmaline and I like tourmaline I usually use ceramic because it's less damaging but tourmaline does make your hair oh it says tourmaline ceramic so that's good tourmaline does make your hair um a lot shinier I feel like but I thought that was so cool since we're going to Florida it's just this tiny little thing and if I like what it does to my hair then I can take it to Florida with me and just wave my hair every day I thought that would be dull so um yeah, I should I, I think I am going to do like a haul and a try on of this set of clothes and then I'll do another one like when we go to Columbus because uh, I got all these gift cards. Tim got me like a shit ton of gift cards, like big gift cards for Mother's Day. I'm trying to open this package for the nail thing. Hold on, let me get a knife. I found some cheap ass, generic ass, non cutting ass scissors <laughs> that we going to try to cut it with. I didn't want to use a knife because I didn't want to fuck myself up, so... Let's see what it comes with. I just got the basic kit because I've already got a light. You could have gotten um, the light with it, but I was like, I already have a gel light and I'm pretty sure that's all it is, is like an LED light. So this kit comes with, let's see, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, that's a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. On the thing, the bottle looks like super big on the little, um, you know, when they, uh, uh, what do I want to say? When they, what's that word when you like, you know what I mean? I don't want to say display when they, God, my brain is mush. When they do it for you, when they, oh my God, I'm just going to stop. When they show you how to do it, the bottle looks so much bigger than what this does. This is what the bottle look like. Lot definitely a lot tinier <laughs> than I thought it was gonna be just saying and then you get this which I'm assuming is probably the little tool that you use to do it up with yeah it is this is a little spatula you take the gel put it in the nail and then that comes with like a brush oh I hope I have acetone I think I do and then you also get these are the clear nails so basically if you've never and that's it so if you've never seen the Facebook ad, which if you're on fucking Facebook, I'm sure you have, um, or the Instagram ad, if you're on Instagram, I'm sure you have. Basically what you do is you take these nails, these acrylic nails, hold on, let me open this. Come on, girl, are you taped shut? I don't think so. You're bad boy, boy. Tim's all pissed at me because I took the trash out of the trash can. My entire house stinks right now because I took the trash. Is this fucking taped or what? Cheap ass shit. I took, oh it is taped. Um, I took the trash out of the trash can in order to take it out and put it like in our, cause we have like a little mini dumpster that we put our trash in for the trash man to come pick up. <laughs> so I took the trash out and put a new bag in and I forgot to take the trash out with me and the dogs got into it and it stunk <laughs> really bad like while I was gone dogs tore it up and my entire house smells like fucking garbage now so 
I just doubt, oh, maybe you can't see in the back. Tim's got like a shit ton of candles lit because our house fucking stinks. So, because of me, because I'm an idiot. So anyways, so you take the nail like this. You take that little tool. Oh shit, don't drop all your nails, bitch. What the fuck? <laughs> take this little tool, like the brush or whatever, and you scoop out some of this gel from this tube and you push it down in there and kind of form it. And then you stick it on your nail like this and then you uh, cure it on your nail. And then you pull this thing off and it's supposed to have a nail and then you file it down and put it on. I'm so excited about this. Cause if you guys remember, I think probably in my favorites video, I had mentioned that um, the nail glue that I was using was like this Kiss nail glue with the purple label and the red lid is the best nail glue ever. And because I was using this nail glue, I wasn't doing acrylics no more. I was just doing glue-ons. Y'all, my fucking last set of glue-ons lasted for two weeks. Not even lying. Two entire weeks. This is a new set. It looks like shit because I did it in a hurry. Um, this is a new set, but my last set that I had, like in my last couple of videos, that shit was on there for two weeks. I broke two nails in that two weeks and I just glued them right back on and they were fine. So, and honestly, I probably could have left them on longer, but they were starting to have that kind of like grown out look. So I took them off. What's this? Oh, you get a $10 voucher. This is what it is. It's called Verini or something like that. Yeah, Verini. That's what it looks like. Just a pre-warning, um, if you order this, be prepared for the wait, because it literally took like two weeks to fucking get to me. Let me see if I can find the email, like the verification email or whatever it is, um, of the day that I ordered it, and I'll tell you exactly how long it took, because, yo, it will fucking long, Barini. Oh my god. My order was conform con conformed. My order was confirmed on April 28th. And the date today is May 16th. That's how long it took to fucking get to me. I ain't down with that girl. That's why I don't do motherfucking all I order in because I can't wait for it. So, anyways, I am gonna clean my mess up here. I'm gonna start supper and feed my boys they just want to get their hair cut so i feel so much better today i cannot believe the difference in my mood from the last week or two to today i feel like a completely different person today that magnesium really helped me in case you guys are curious or you're on keto and you kind of have been feeling like shit this is what it looks like i got it at myers come on focus girl there you go this is what it looks like right here. I got it at Myers. I totally am like 100% today. I feel so much fucking better. And it could just be because, you know, my body is fully transitioned over and I'm not like in keto flu anymore. But I'm telling you guys, I was to the point where I was like, I'm gonna have to go to the doctor and get put back on antidepressants because I just was not feeling good. Like my whole attitude was just like, uh, I was tired all the time. My body was sore. My body sore all the time because I started lifting, but it was like to the point where I just felt like I was dragging day after day after day, but I feel so much better today. I'm a little sore still, but nothing like I have been for like the past week or two. So I'm so glad, I'm so glad. So anyways, I need to get off here and make supper. Sorry I didn't take you guys shopping with me. I'll definitely take you guys when we go to Columbus. I'll talk to my mom about it and see if she wants to learn and stuff. And I don't, I don't think there's anything else. So videos will continue this week. Today's Wednesday, I'll probably put this up tonight. Happy Wednesday. Um, my next video will probably be on Friday. I did do, I did film a review of the Marc Jacobs Foundation and a review of the Natasha Denona palette. And I'm gonna go over the footage of those and if I like the footage, then I will post those like Friday and Sunday. Um, if not, then I'll probably just film something else. It might be a vlog, it might not, I don't know. It depends on what I got going on this week. Tim is trying to um, get a new secretary hired, so he's got interviews and stuff like that after work, so he's been kind of busy, so I don't know. But I'll see uh, what I got going on. Um, if not, you'll probably just see 
those reviews coming up. I was kind of like scatterbrained in the reviews, if I remember right. I hate reviewing stuff because I need to, when I review stuff, write shit down. Because if I don't write it down, I'm just like all over the place and I forget what I'm talking about. I mean, it's bad enough when I'm just like casually talking. Imagine like trying to like sit down and map shit out in my head because I'm like fucking ADD central. I just bounce from thing to thing thing and then I forget about what I was talking about and it just gets crazy, girl. So I have to like restart shit and I repeat myself a lot when I do reviews. So I need to just start writing stuff down. I got this little book for my YouTube. Isn't this cute? Isn't that book cute? It's like a little, um, just a little planner, but it's got, you know, like your, has your calendar, it's got your day by day, and then it's got your month, and then it's got little notes on it. So I'm gonna start using this for my YouTube and like try to fucking make something in my life. Like I say, at least once a month, at least once a month I say that, that I'm gonna really do it and do like really good, and then I fuck up and don't, so. Or I get depressed and become an asshole and like don't post a video for a week or so. So anyways, um, I don't think I want to show you guys anything else because I'm going to do a haul on it. Thank you guys for just like hanging out and being cool and like not being like, oh my God, you suck because you don't upload. I love you guys. You're so awesome. Best subscribers anybody could ask for. I'm also super hella behind on my comments. So I'm going to get caught up on my comments probably before I start editing this and it'll probably be up late per usual because I got to make supper and do all that stuff. But uh, just thank you guys for being cool as fuck because you are so If oh also I want to start vlogging more. I know I say that all the time But I really want to start vlogging more especially with summer coming So if you guys should I make a separate vlog channel or should I just put vlogs on this channel? And then whoever doesn't want to want to watch the vlogs doesn't have to what should I do? Let me know in the comments and I don't think there's anything else. I feel like, cause I haven't talked to you guys so long, like <laughs> I'm like forgetting to tell you all this stuff. I need to get back on Snapchat too. Cause I feel like this huge disconnect between me and you. Um, and solely by my fault, you know what I mean? Solely at the fault of my own. But I wanna get back to having that connection with you guys because y'all are my homies, man. I miss talking to you on Snap. I miss interacting with you more like it just makes me happy and I miss doing it so we gonna get it back to where it was girl where it was before all that shit happened with Tim's dad so uh yeah that's it so I'm gonna go I hate trying to do an outro when I vlog because I don't know what to say so I will oh yeah like subscribe and like like and stuff thumbs up if you like vlogs so I know if I get a lot of thumbs up I'll do more vlogs if I get a lot of thumbs down thumbs down if you don't like vlogs because the thumbs down helps me too girl all you little haters out there like I'm gonna thumbs it down I'll show her well you showed me all right because it actually helps my engagement so thanks Veronica um yeah so thumbs it down if you don't like vlogs so that way I know and leave a comment a comment Leave a comment and say what's up. And I'm going to go because I just keep repeating myself and saying, and so subscribe if you want. If not, just like check back and shit. And I will peep you guys in the next one, most likely on Friday. Peace.